Amway Riverbank Run is a 44-year tradition in downtown Grand Rapids, and it takes place this Saturday, October 23rd. Now, historically, the event occurs on the second Saturday in May, but it was pushed back to October this year because of the pandemic. Now, there is still time to register, and organizers are implementing a lot of safety measures to keep everyone safe. Here to talk about this year's event is Dr. Matt Axman from Spectrum Health Medical Group Orthopedics. Hi, Dr. Axman. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me. I am glad to have you. Tell me a bit about Spectrum Health's role in the Amway Riverbank Run this year. Yeah, Spectrum Health has been the official medical partner for the Amway Riverbank Run since 2018, and we are excited to be back providing medical coverage again this year and so excited to have this race occur because it's been absolutely too long. Yeah, you're going to have folks, a lot of folks, right out there on the race course. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have over 60 providers that are going to be on hand on race day. We're going to be providing uh, evaluations at aid stations as well as at Maine Medical, which is right at the end where we usually see some of the things happening because people are really pushing themselves at the end. So we're going to be all along the course to provide that. We also have volunteers from Spectrum Health as well as Priority Health that are going to be providing uh, aid station, so drinks, fruit, and things like that. Because mm -hmm. one of the uh, things that Spectrum Health wants to do is to provide and improve health, inspire hope, and save lives. And what better to do than get out there and run? Yeah, that sounds great. But we mentioned that a lot of measures are being taken to keep everybody safe. Tell me a bit about how the race is going to look different this year. So everything is going to be outdoors, whereas before they would have packet pickup and things at DeVos Place. Now it's going to be all outdoors with a mini expo at Calder Plaza. We're going to have a lot of safety precautions in place. There's going to be hand sanitizing stations all over the place and pre-packaged refreshments. We are going to encourage masks where social distancing is a little bit difficult, like at the starting line. But during the race, we're not going to require any masks with that because sometimes that can interfere with some of the movement of air. Um, but they're not required to wear masks the duration of the race. And because everything is outside, there's no gear, no gear checks and uh, no pre-event hospitality at all. So that's where it's going to be a little bit different than years before. And there also is a virtual option like we have done last year with this. So if you want to run at your own pace in your own location, that's still an option as well. I know that some of your providers have actually been helping with training leading up to race day, but do you have some advice for folks who are participating this weekend or maybe even thinking about participating? Yeah, so a couple of things. Always take a look at the weather and dress appropriately. If it's going to be hot or cold, you got to take a look at things. Sometimes in October we have snow, but I don't see any of that in the forecast yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, just making sure that you have clothing that you can remove if it is getting too hot. Taking a look at hydration, so making sure that you're blink, uh, drinking plenty of fluids before and during the race, um, eating appropriately before, as well as getting some of those refreshments after the race to help in regards to your recovery. And if you're planning on running, there's still time to sign up because sign up ends at five o'clock on Friday. Now, if you haven't trained or anything, I wouldn't recommend trying to run the 25K this weekend, but there's still <laughs> options for the 5K run, 10K run, as well as the 5K walk. So lots of chances to get out there and, as you say, enjoy just being outdoors and getting in on this Riverbank Run. All right. To learn more uh, and to register, go to Riverbank Run. It's AmwayRiverbankRun.com, AmwayRiverbankRun.com. Or to learn more about Spectrum Health Orthopedics, there's a link at 13onyourside.com. Dr. Axman, good luck this weekend. I hope you have a terrific time out there and all the runners do great. Glad to have you. All right. Thank you and have a great day.